Hey guys and welcome back to another Unrangement 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be continuing our new series which we're making on the third person shooter minigame. So today what we're going to be doing is setting up creating a gun, shooting a bullet and adding muzzle flash to this as well and we're also going to be adding sound effects when we're shooting too. So this video is essentially setting up our gun. So what we want to do first is we want to set up our projectile. So I'm going to go into my game files folder here and I'm going to right click, create a new folder I'm just going to name this gun, so everything we need for the gun is going to be in here. And inside of this folder I'm going to right click and add a blueprint class and just get an actor. I'm going to name this one bullet BP, opening that up straight away. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a component and add a sphere collision because it's going to be a bullet, it's a sphere, and we need the collision on it as well. And then I'm going to drag that onto the default scene route to make this the new scene route so the route is the collision. And then we're going to add another component, this one just being a normal sphere, which is going to be our actual bullet, like so. And obviously going to scale down the bullet to fit in the collision, like that. Compile and save. And I think that is going to be good for my basic bullet, like so. And then what else we need to do in here is add another component, and we need to add projectile movement there. So now this is going to make it an actual projectile which we need and want. So with the projectile movement selected, on the right, we're going to change the initial speed and the max speed. I'm going to set both of these to 3000, which is what they are by default in the other shooters, so the first person shooter template as well, but you can obviously change these to be whatever you like, but 3000 seems to be good for me. And I'm going to tick should bounce as well, just because that's what I want, and also scroll down until we get to velocity, and I'm going to set the X to be 3000. Again, that just helps to make it move realistically like a bullet would. We're going to compile save and we're going to reselect the sphere collision as well actually because what we need to do is change the collision presets to be block all like so compile and save and that should be our bullet set up so now we're not going to go over too much of the actual damaging part today but what i am going to do is go to the event graph of this bullet bp which is where we would be doing this code delete these three nodes i'm going to right click and get event hit like so and what i'm going to do with this is the other I'm going to get actor has tag and the tag is going to be enemy like so just like that and now how this works is for our enemy blueprints which we create we will give them a tag of enemy meaning that those are the ones which will be damaged so again we're going to do that in a future episode but I'm just setting this up now then we're going to hold down B left click to get a branch to check that return value to see if we are or aren't attacking an enemy because if we are so true we obviously want to damage them which again we'll do later on False, if it's not, we're just going to destroy actor, i.e. we're just going to destroy this bullet here, because we've hit something. Compile and save once again, and that is all I'm going to do for the bullet in today's video. So we've set up how it looks, how it's going to fly, and just essentially destroying the bullet when it hits something, and in the future we'll set up for damaging enemies. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to set up actually shooting this. So what I'm going to do is go to my character blueprint, which we have here, and I'm also going to go to edit, project settings and let's see if we set up the action mapping already so let's go down to input and we did set it up so we have fire which is left mouse button or gamepad right trigger not sure if I set that one up there but we do have it if you don't have it then make sure you just hit plus action mappings here name it shoot or fire or anything and set it to the button which you want which for me would be left mouse button like so and we're going to close that because we have it and then somewhere in our character blueprints event graph we're going to right click and get the action mapping. So I have fire or shoot. I'm going to use shoot just to make it nice and easy for you to follow along with. And out of pressed, what we're going to do is we want to spawn this bullet because that's where we're shooting. So what I'm going to do is spawn actor from class like so. And the class is obviously going to be our bullet BP, which we just made. Now the spawn transform is where we want it to actually spawn. And obviously it's going to be firing straight away because we've already given it initial velocity. But where do we want it to spawn? If we go to the viewport, we can see this is our gun. We obviously want it to come out of the gun. So what I'm going to do is select the gun in the components list up in the top left, add a component, and I'm going to add a normal sphere, like so. I'm just going to scale this down so it isn't too big. Let me just make it 0.1 like that. I think that's going to be good. And let's just move this to be where we want the bullet to actually come from, which for me is going to be the end of this gun. So again, set this up to be wherever you like, but I think this is going to be good position for me. 
so the bullet will come from here so it looks like it's come out of the gun. But we don't obviously want this sphere to be here, this is just a reference. So what I'm going to do is make sure that we disable its collision, so collision presets we have no collision, and I'm going to take hidden in game. So we can still see it in the viewport here, So we, because again we're using it as a reference, but we don't want it to be shown in game. So this is going to work perfectly, the player can't see it, and the player can't collide with it, so it's really as if it isn't there. Compile, save, and go back to the event graph. The reason we got that error is because we haven't finished setting up the spawn actor here. So the spawn transform is going to be a make transform like so. So we can input the location, rotation, and scale. And the location, again, we're going to be using that reference we just made. So select the sphere in the components list, and I'm going to rename it bullet ref or bullet reference, and drag that into our event graph like so. We simply just want to get the location of this. So bullet ref get world location, because that is the location in the world which we want to be spawning this bullet in. So that should work perfectly for spawning it in the location which we want. The rotation is going to be a little bit different. We want this to always be going forwards. So what we need to do is bullet ref get forward vector. So again, we're going forwards at all times. But then we also need to make this a rotation. So that's a vector, it needs to be a rotator. So what we can do is make rot from Z. Because as you can see in the viewport here, if we select the gun, we're going to rotate it on the Z, which is this way, which is obviously the different ways we want this gun to be firing. So make rot from Z will get the rotation perfectly for how we want, like so. And the scale, I'm going to set to 0.2, which is something which I found testing it out. You can obviously change these values to get them perfect for you for the scale, but this is just the size of bullet which I found to be good for me. I'm going to compile and save that. And that is the basic part of shooting the gun done. So if I hit play, we can test this out. If I to press the left mouse button, you can see we are now shooting a gun with the bullets coming out of the gun there like so. When they hit something, they get despawned. But this doesn't look or sound very good because we've got no muzzle flash and no sound effects. So let's set those up now. I'm going to minimize this and go to my sound effects folder which I have here. And you can see we imported these gun sound effects previously. So what I'm going to do is right click and go to sounds and create a sound cue. And I'm going to name this one gun shot cue like so, opening it up straight away. Then I'm going to select all my gunshot sound effects which I want and drag them into this cue. Because again, like I said previously, I want to have these four different sound effects played randomly so it sounds a lot better and a lot more dynamic. So I now have all of these inside of this one cue. Out of the first one, I'm going to get a random node. I'm going to add three more inputs, so I have four inputs for my four sound effects, connecting all of those in there like so. The output is going to go into a modulator, and the output of that will go into the output of the overall sound cue. So now if we were to press play, it's going to play random sound effects each time, and this is how it will work in the actual game as well. It will just play random sound effects whenever we fire this off, so whenever we shoot the gun. Save that, and that is simply all we need to do. It is very, very simple. So let's close that, and now we'll go back to our character blueprint. Out of spawn actor bullet BP, we're going to get a play sound at location, and the location is going to be our get world location for our bullet reference here. And let's just double click this to get some root nodes, just to keep it looking nice and organized like this. And so now we're also going to be playing a sound effect for when we do this. And for the muzzle flash, it is just as simple. After play sound at location, we're going to get spawn emitter attached, and the emitter template is going to be p underscore chicken master muzzle flash 01. Strange name, but this is the one which we got in the Infinity Blade effects pack which we downloaded in the previous episode. So the p chicken master muzzle flash. Attached to component is going to be our bullet reference which we have here, and everything else you can leave the same apart from the rotation which we want to set to 90 on the Z. Everything else though is the same like this. Compile and save, and this should now be that working setup for us. So let's hit play and test this out. If we press the left mouse button, as you can see we are now shooting with the muzzle flash, and the muzzle flash looks amazing as well, but there is no sound effects. And that's because we forgot to just simply input the sound effects in the play sound location. So it doesn't matter how many times you do this, you're always gonna make stupid mistakes like that. So I called it gunshot Q there. Compile, save, test this out again, and that's much better. So we now have the sound effects and actually spawning the bullet as well as the muzzle flash. 
just for the purpose of the video I'm going to lower the volume of this just so it doesn't deafen you all so I'm going to set it to 0 0.2 obviously keep it to what you want for your actual game but this is just for the purpose of the tutorial and the video so that's much better for me so again you can see we are spawning bullets so we're shooting them with a muzzle flash which looks great and a sound effect as well so I think that'll be it for this video so we've done everything we want to do we've set up shooting the gun with a bullet coming out of it with sound effects which are random each time and also a muzzle flash as well so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one